She's not born Lola, she's born Eliza Gilbert. From memory, she's not born into a wealthy family. And I think she was smart and ambitious, and I think she just grabbed opportunities as they came to, to, to change her circumstances and, and, and see what would happen. The opportunities for women to have a role in public life were very few and far between in the mid-19th century. And being on stage, being an actress or a performer in some way, was one of the few avenues that women could really take centre stage and get attention for themselves. She get, takes herself off to Spain and starts and, and decides to learn, you know, a bit of Spanish dancing. And I don't think she was there very long. But then there's this woman called Lola Montez, who's a, who's a um, performing in London and causing a sensation with her spider dance which is certainly a much racier version, I would imagine, than any other Tarantella that you might have seen at that particular time. And so that was her meal ticket, dancing. But really what she loved was power and politics. And because she was able, through her dancing, to open doors to herself into the royal courts of Europe, and she danced all over Europe, she came to find that where she was most comfortable was talking politics with the men. And interestingly, they came to find that they really enjoyed talking to her too and that she had radical ideas. Now the first time this, we, we get a sense that Lola is having an influence on politics is when she becomes the lover of King Ludwig of Bavaria. And she becomes one of the prime movers in shifting the Jesuit-led bureaucracy of the monarchy there. And she made a lot of enemies because of that, but she was really in step with the people's mood at the time. So she was a political animal, and it was those ideas that informed the theatre that she started to write for herself and, and informed her very idea of herself as a modern woman. I think she was quite incredible because for the day she was self-employed, she, she had to look after herself, she had to, like many a time she was bankrupt and it was only up to herself that she built her name back up again, maybe reinvented herself as well. She was just, yeah, amazing. Not just a performer and able to manipulate, which we do know she was able to manipulate people, but also that she, there was an intelligence behind it and she was doing it to further her career and to look after herself, like who of us wouldn't want to do that? I really like her and admire her for um, challenging society and the role of women in the 1850s. She's the first woman to be photographed smoking a cigarette, which was massive taboo. She was known also she would wear trousers occasionally. She does appear as, as quite a strong feminist. She was very um, assertive that it, it was totally right and proper for her as a woman to have this, this role in the public sphere of, as a performer, um, that she was not going to be trapped into any kind of domesticity. She was going to lead a full and active life, as she had led when, when she was um, involved with the, uh, the royal court of, of Europe. What I find really fascinating is that if you were educated in Europe, you would actually have some idea from your high school education that Lola Montez played an important role in modern political history. Whereas in Australia, we really just understand Lola Montez as a showgirl. And as a showgirl, she becomes symbolic of all sorts of other things. She was a bad girl, she was loose, she was immoral. And it's so underselling Lola. By just seeing her as a showgirl, by just a good time girl, we undermine all of that power in her story. Madam. Are you upset with me because I can perform deeds that have left their mark on society or that you cannot? I'm not merely consisted of living a life that contains drinking tea, powdering, flirting, going to the opera and sleeping. Those women that do, not you of course my dear, those women that do are inane pieces of human waxwork. And this conventional femininity I believe only invites men's scorn you're upset with me because I possess the independence and the power of self-reliant strength to assert my own individuality while you, ma'am, you do not. Until tonight, my friends, until tonight. <laughs>